that we actually deserve to do it that way. We actually deserve the reward to be working in that sort of way. Anyway, uh, Martin. The next section of. Yep, Mr. Name Uh, Data Card Effect. I won't ask what. Are you ready to give? Yeah, you're getting the Augma Infinium. Not many could resist the temptation of the Augma Infinium. Now it is my turn to be put to the test. Uh, what else can I do to help? You should talk to Joffrey. He needs your help. Trouble down in Broomer, I think. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Farewell, my friend. We're gonna do more Oblivion Gates. Yeah. I've just received word from the Countess of Broomer that an Oblivion Gate has opened outside the city. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Broomer into motion. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard close this gate. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Uh, where is this gate? Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Broomer City Gate. He'll show you the Oblivion Gate, although I doubt it will be hard to find. Yeah, I doubt so too. But we're not going to be doing that gate. We have two gates, I think, we uh, like over here. Yeah. Going to Horn Cave. Dragon. Uh, let's see here. We can summon out Cat. And then we got Tess. Yes, my lord. Follow me. Yes, my love. Uh, you're going to follow me. We make it. We do. All right. Apparently, there's a mod that allows you to have both of them, or not both. Uh, you can have like cat and I think it's Winter Moon, I think, or Dublin or Winter Moon. But just for the, but I'm waiting for a mod that allows you to have like all three just randomly. Because it seems very weird, though, for Heart of the Dead to have the other character dead for no reason. Alright. Okay, where are we going? Where's the door that we need to go through. If you are following me, that's good, but I'm going to lose you two in a few seconds. Bye! Alright. Hi! How you doing? Bye. Well, that happened. What the? Okay. I don't even know what happened. Goodbye. Always make it up to there, though. Um, I was gonna say, good job, cat. You got stuck on a rock. Uh, what do we get out of that, though? I think I should start storing these so I can actually see what we're getting. I'll actually start doing that now. I'll store them in the chest for now. Alright. Because now I think that the, we're getting too many overlapping. So it's getting harder to say like, Oh, we got fire protection from this one or whatever. So. Maybe we got something that's a repeat. Maybe we didn't. Who knows? Because literally there's there, there are too many of them. 
Anyway, let's go to... Uh, I think God Elf's Fun Fire Ray might be closer. Just slightly. Although Sea Atatar is probably the closest, but... This area is probably close enough. Oh, wait, we're heading the wrong way. Uh, it's this way. Over this way! Oh, oh it's friggin'. Alright. No! Well, we've entered. Oh, this is pretty cool. Hi, Imperial City. Oh, hi, cat. How you doing? Ah! What? Come on, I spammed E just so I didn't have to take fall damage. Come on, game. There we go. I think I'm gonna make maybe like a small script and see if it'll actually work. The thing is that, like, it might not work for custom ones, and I'm trying to figure out if there's a possible way you can just say, like, in general. Because that'd be kind of cool. So what I'm thinking of doing is creating, like, a custom item that says, like... What? Did I... Did I change this to quickened flight? No, I didn't. Okay. That's weird. I don't know why I did that then. Anyway, uh, the item that I want to create is uh, like, let's we'll say like a ring for now. Uh, that what it does is like, if you ever get diseased, what it will do is that it will remove the disease immediately. So like if you get uh, the vampire disease, it'll cure it immediately. Well, it won't cure it, it'll just get rid of it. If you get uh, astral vapors, it'll get rid of it for you. If you get uh, rock joints, it'll cure it for you, like that kind of thing. So it's almost like a potion of cure disease kind of thing. Cool. Either that or I could do an experiment and see what happens if you have, like, cure disease always active. Or see if you can have it always active. Because that would be kind of cool, though. If, it just, if, if you have it always, uh, if you always have cure disease always active, if it'll just constantly cure you of, the, of any disease. Although I feel like that would be kind of broken if it does. Because then it's like, you, you're, oh, you're never going to have a disease. You're just going to get cured immediately. Are there no more oblivion gates? That's very sad. I think we might need to do some quick exploration. Alright, Cat and Tess. Uh, we're gonna be... Anything new? Nope, nothing new. Alright. I don't think the game likes me going this fast, though. <laughs> there we go. Will this count? It shouldn't, because technically I'm not in the range of it, though. Although I am descending. Oh, come on, game. I was close to it. You just didn't want me to break you even further. We already have. Alright. Whoa, what? That's weird. Hi, tower. Oh! Oh. Well, I mean... 
while we're here. Bye. Did you just tell me to bow down even though you're like weaker than me? The Lust Keep. Ooh, the Lust Keep. I, I see what you're doing here. All right. Where's the greed keep? I want money. Hi. Actually, what did we get last time? Or did I not? What did we get last time? Fire and light? All right. I wonder what this one's gonna be then. Fire and shock. Yeah! No, I know. Cat, what the heck is wrong with you? Oh, we got magic. That's fine. <sighs> Cat, repair your equipment. There you go. It doesn't actually repair her equipment. What it does is it just gets rid of her current equipment and just adds another. Thing. It just tells her to like get rid of her equipment and gives her new one. And tells her to equip it. Well, hello. I want to check something now. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I had a feeling. All right. There you go. You're not repaired. Where's Tess? Oh no, Tess is gone. Whatever will we do? Whatever will we do without Tess? Where is she? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. The fact that Tess is in here is actually kind of scaring me right now. She could possibly break something. Alright. Well, we're going to head over towards this direction. Let's see where we go. Want to launch into the air though? Come on. Oh, there's an oblivion gate. Is it where I think it is? No. Oh. Ah, goodbye. Into oblivion we go. Oh. Ah. That hurt. All right. Uh-oh, that's not good. Test is broken. Okay. Come on. And... Did I get to the way I want it to be? <gasps> no, it's not shooting me up. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, engines is over here. Oh. I apparently went too over the top. All right. Whatever. Hi. Tess isn't following me. This isn't good. That means I need to load an old save get her stupid ID thing or whatever it is. Is it just you guys just clipping your stuff? Ah, cat! Stop with your stupid effect, man. It's annoying. Go up one more? Okay. Alright. I think I gotta get lucky with the fact that, like, I can hopefully move Tess with me. Because if I can't load an old save, that might be a problem. I 
I think Tess might have got glitched into a gate to oblivion. And unfortunately, because she got glitched in there, I don't think she can leave. Maybe I'll try and fix her after this. No! Game! Seriously! When I click spacebar, like, I want you to use it, not just go. Maybe it's a suggestion to jump. Thank you. Or maybe that can her out. I have no idea. Anyway, what's the third uh, one that we got? Detect life, yay! I can now detect you, buddy. All right. So that's gonna be it for now. Next time we'll go handle the Bruma stuff and all that stuff. I'll do more research and I'll, hopefully this will be the chance where we will enable all of the Oblivion Gates and then uh, we'll get all of their locations and such like that. So uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for some more Oblivion modded playthrough.